Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so today I'm doing a review on the Gallant Freestanding Punch Bag. Um, I'm going to be giving you all the information you need to know, showing you the height of it, putting it together, usability, sturdiness, everything. So stick with it, you should find out everything that you need to know. Now I ordered off Amazon, um, as far as I know you can only get it on Amazon on eBay. Um, now careful if you do order it direct from the Gallant company, this one, um, they only sent me half of it. They didn't send me the base, so I couldn't really use it. But I'm going to be showing you everything. It's pretty good. It'll arrive in two packages. This is the first one. The second one's outside, which I'll show you in a minute. But let's get it out so you can see what one half looks like. So this is one half of it. This is the part that you'll actually hit. Granted, on the floor, it doesn't look too big, but it's not too bad. If I measure it, the length of the part that you actually hit, it's going to the 80 centimetre mark or 32 inches, which isn't too bad. Width wise, it's not that wide. Um, I personally use it for Thai boxing training, but you can see the size of it. It's sort of around a foot wide, which isn't that bad. Um, it's not that heavy. I think the bag itself weighs 15 kilograms, which isn't too heavy, but like I say, I'll show you the other half in a second. Now this is the other half, I've got it covered up because I'm keeping it outside. Um, as you can see, it is quite big. The hole that you fill it up with is really small though. It's only like, as you can see, pretty tiny. Um, when I first got it, I filled it up with water. The only problem with water with it though, it sloshes around quite a lot. So it tends to move quite a bit. When you fill it up with sand, it still rocks, but it doesn't move. Now this bit, is what attaches to the base and the bag slides in here and it's got all these little nuts on you get the spanner thing so you can put it together it's pretty sturdy this is rubber as well so it's quite flexible so when you're hitting the bag if you're hitting it quite hard it does sort of rock around it's not perfectly fixed in place now like i say when the bag's attached to it it's all right and um, when i first used it i did fill it up with water now if you're using it for more stamina training um, just to get your heart rate up. It's not too bad, but as soon as you start hitting it hard, because of the water that's in it sloshing around, it does rock around and move around quite a lot. I filled it up with sand and it's a lot more sturdy. Um, filled with sand, it weighs 75 kilograms. It took five big bags of sand to fill it up. Um, I think it cost me a tenner, 10 pound if you're in England. Um, US, not too sure. <laughs> But it's all right, once it's filled with sand, it won't move around whatsoever. But let's have a look what it's like when you put it together. Now this is it when it's up. Like I say, it is quite big. I'm six foot two. Um, if I walk over to it, you can sort of see. It's not so I'm punching head height, but it is all right for training. Um, if I measure it, I'll show you exactly how tall it is. Cause I know when you look online, there's a lot of people saying different sort of heights. So if I put it all the way down to the floor and come up, it is one meter and 60 centimeters. So it's just a little over five foot, well, about five and a half foot, which isn't too bad. When I'm sort of training with it, I'm sort of hitting the top of it. And when you're kicking, you're sort of kicking that sort of height. It's not too bad. If you're just after a bag that you can sort of just put around somewhere rather than hanging it up, it's all right. The thing is, you can't keep it outside. Um, and as well, you do need to cover up the base because of the nuts on it, you don't want them to rust because then obviously when you're hitting it, it is going to end up coming apart at some point. But I would advise filling it with sand. For a freestanding bag, it's good. It's sturdy. It's better than all the crappy inflatable ones that you see. If you want one in the house, um, I'd advise something that you could hang up. Um, once it has been filled with sand, you're not going to be able to empty it properly. Um, and if it's filled with water, like I say, when you're hitting it, it sloshes out. And because it's only a little cap that sort of covers the hole, when, it, when you're hitting it, water does come out. So if it's in the house, your floor is going to get wet. Outside it's all right, but like I say, definitely fill it with sand, it's a lot more sturdy. But yeah, that's the Gallant Freestanding Punch Bag. I hope you've enjoyed the video, it is something different. I usually only cover tech reviews, but I started it up as a hobby, needed something, couldn't find anything on YouTube, so I thought I'd do a video just to show you guys what it's like. But thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.